Dennis Sarek, ARI's Manager of Client Relations, gives us insight into his team's approach to a successful partnership with their clients. I think there's a lot of different areas. I think um, one of the pieces is right sizing of the fleet. Uh, and, and I keep on going back to that because if you have a thousand vehicles in your fleet and, and you're using all of them effectively and they are managed one in, one out as far as replacements, uh, you know, that's a best in class. But in a lot of cases with decentralized fleets today, and we're seeing more and more of those, we find that there are extra vehicles out there because each each division manager is responsible for their own for their own P&L. Um, so therefore, they might hide a vehicle or they might use pool units uh, in, in a strategic way where we need to, as a partner, uh, you know, showcase that or, or, or focus a little bit more on some of those excess vehicles. And one or two vehicles out of a fleet means a lot. So that's, in my opinion, that would be the low hanging fruit out there uh, in, in today's trend. Sure. So managing driver behavior, uh, you know, we, we've we've done it in, in in a whole bunch of different ways with our clients in a, in a partnership approach. Um, streamlining communication and building a communication plan is is probably the most critical piece to managing driver behavior. Whether it's a dedicated website or using our driver insights as a base of understanding their driving habits, uh, that, that's a first step. Um, there's also clients that we've worked with to uh, develop a, a, a driver forum, so at any sales meetings that they may have, we may go out there and present um, and giving them an understanding of, of what the tools are that, you know, that they can utilize from ARI. Um, and just you know, always making sure that we're driving and giving them reminders throughout the year. So as we build a strategic timeline together, our delivering quarterly communications to those drivers, speaking about the cost of fuel, speaking about their regions, and specifically what they can do to improve uh, you know, miles per gallon and the total cost of ownership of their vehicles. So one of the ways that, that we are um, improving driver behavior with our clients is making sure that we are out in the field um, with the, the end users. And that's important. And whether the end user is a driver um, of a company car or an end user is a driver or a manager of a business tool like a like a upfitted truck, uh, we're making sure that we get out there not only at a sales meeting to present uh, you know the capabilities of ARI and what we feel a driver should be doing um, from a compliance standpoint, um, from an active uh, use standpoint of that vehicle, but also at the during the site visits when we're talking about an upfitted vehicle or a business tool, we're out there side by side by with those end users, you know, kicking the tires, making sure uh, that the the vehicle purpose and the vehicle upfit meets the meets the job responsibility that they should be doing, and that's that's probably the biggest value that I see right now in the industry is is the way that we go out to those locations and making sure that those vehicles don't have unnecessary equipment on them, um, are, are meeting the job folk or the job purpose, um, but most importantly, uh, you know, we're we're managing and maintaining that total cost of ownership and trying to reduce it in any which way possible.